Hi everyone, welcome to Dataverse Academy. In today's video, we will learn how we can load the data into data warehouse using data pipeline. Log into your Microsoft Fabric account, then click on below left hand corner, then choose data warehouse, then click on workspaces, then choose your workspace. Then click on new, then choose data pipeline. Give name to your data pipeline. Then click on create. In this video, we will use the copy activity to load the data from Azure Blob Storage to our data warehouse. So Microsoft has provided some sample data repository from which we will choose the worldwide importers data. There we have different dimensions and fact data. So we will load dimension customer data to our data warehouse. Click on add pipeline activity. Then choose copy data. Give name to your copy data activity. Provide description. As we are loading the data of worldwide importers from blob storage to data warehouse. So we will provide the description accordingly. Then you can provide the timeout value according to yourself. So I'll choose one hour. And if you want to retry after failure, then you can provide the value. I'll retry it for two times. And click on advance. Here you can provide the retry interval. Retry interval, I'll choose 30 seconds only. If you check both secure output and secure input, it means your input and output data information will not be stored in the log file. I'll put it as unchecked. Now click on source. Here as you know, we are going to read the data from Azure Blob Storage. Then choose external. Then we need to create a connection to that Azure Blob Storage. So for that, click on new. Now click on Azure Blob Storage. Then click on continue. Here we need to provide the URL which is provided by the Microsoft. This is the URL which is provided by the Microsoft. Now let me give the name to my connection. Now let's click on create. Our connection is successfully created. Let me test it. Click on test connection. Perfect. It is working fine. Now we need to provide the file path for worldwide importers data, which is stored in one of the container and under which we have different folders. We also need to provide the directory name in which dimension customer file is stored. File path is sample data. Directory name is worldwide importers slash tables. Under this directory, we have different fact tables and dimension tables. So we need to read the dimension customer file only. Our file name is dimension customer dot parquet. Choose file format as parquet. Then click on destination. As we know, we are going to load the data into our data warehouse. Then choose workspace. Then choose data warehouse. Then provide your data warehouse name. This is my data warehouse, which I have created earlier. Click on it. Then click on auto create. And provide your schema name and table name. So we are going to load the data into our DBU schema. So we'll provide DBUSR schema. Then provide table name. Our table name will be 
dimension underscore customer. I have choose auto create table because we haven't created the table in our data warehouse. So what will happen when we will run this flow, that table will be created under DBO schema. Now save your pipeline. Our pipeline is successfully saved. Now let's run it. Click on run. It will take few minutes to complete it. Our pipeline ran successfully. Let's check the details. You can see we have read one file and in that file we have 403 rows which are loaded into our dimension customer table into the data warehouse. Let's check the table into our data warehouse. Click on your workspace then click on your data warehouse. You can see our dimension customer file is loaded successfully. And you can see the data in the data view. If you want to read the data from this table using SQL query, for that you need to click on new SQL query, then click on new SQL query. Right? Select star from tbo dot dimension customer. And we'll read only top 10 rows. Then run it. You can see we got the output. That's it in this video. In the next video, we will learn how we can create a table and how we can load the data into that table using copy into command. Thank you for watching this video.